Welcome to podcast. Ep- I I literally could not tell you even in the tens what episode we're on. Eighties, nineties, could be of episode of season two. Remember yeah. when there was a season one? I don't know why we. I mean, when does season three start? How do you how do you decide when that? we, we have quit to take again? Like a year break. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when this uh, dries up, then. Uh-huh. Uh, then there'll be a season three and who's going to bring that one back. I don't know. Soccer. Soccer well, so, will know, be the guy that does like it. This should be season three because Chad brought it back one time. Oh, did it he? Stopped. Yeah. It was me, beef, pause and badge. That was the podcast for a long yeah. time. And then we just stopped. And Chad was like, um, we need to bring the podcast back. Yeah. And uh, so Chad, brought and that it back really was me. season two then. Yeah. I think so. Uh-huh. I think this is season three. I look white today. I look pale. I look like I need. Do I look too white to you, Matt? Do I look too red to you? I was about to say, you look a little red and I, I look know. a little white. I, th- I think it's this. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, you look fine. You look normal. You look like a normal human being. I feel white. You look good. Normal. Okay. Good. Yeah. No. Uh, so really, this is season three. Uh, should we just go back and change everything now, such that this? Yeah, is I think I think it's time. Season three, fix it. Then we'll quit <laughs> in like a month. We'll quit, and then mm-hmm. a so year we'll later, soccer will come back, and yeah. he'll lead the podcast. God, and can you imagine? The other day he was four. saying that uh, he was talking shit, and he said that uh, me and Armo don't need to do anything for the marathon anymore, and you and him are going to take over, and just. <laughs> plan it and run it and all of it. It's just you and him. Cool. <laughs> From the tech uh, side? All we did it anyway. <laughs> run a show, all of it. No, yeah, yeah, I know you got the tech side, but now run a show, talent, all that. You want him doing that? you and soccer. <laughs> I'd love to see the run a show that soccer came up with. I be like do not. Halo with Beat Saber. Halo, Beat Saber, Beat Saber, Halo. Yeah. Yeah. Does he play Halo? Oh, he's he's the reason why I'm playing Halo. He's his really? idea. Yeah. Damn. Was he playing with you? No, I was playing with Milby actually. Okay. Milby went to that breakup, and he was like, "I'll never produce content again." And I was like, "Let's do Halo together." And then we started he, doing that. I. He's so emo. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about, Matt? Oh my god! Listen, you talking about his Instagram? This he might be my that. take, but <laughs> holy shit. I mean, I guess there's there are people that get over things just by being emo as fuck. And if that's how you choose to deal with it, then fine. I think this is um, Milby's first big breakup. I think honestly, and also, also, I think before now, Milby's been on the other end of the breakups. Milby's been the guy that's like, goodbye. And you're, you're not doing it for me anymore. Yeah. Um, but I yeah, guess- I I mean, I, I think that was, that was his, that was his person. That was his one. And yeah. I think he thought that was, you know, that was it. And, and I think that's a hard one to take. Like when you find the one you think is, is the forever person. Oh, for sure. Um, for sure. I think it was just like, I guess I'm not the kind of person that is publicly emo, <laughs> but I think well, for some there people, was a lot of that, like when Justin went through his breakup, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I'm no, the Justin was like, exactly the same. Divorce, Holy shit. I don't want to talk about it publicly at all i know i tell you everything about my life but divorce nothing to say no Uh, and like it's like that shit would would never hit the twitters you know mm -hmm. but like for actually both of them they both uh, maybe this is their coping way or their way of like finding people to support them in a time of need or they want to hear that the masses still like them or something i don't know um yeah it's it's rough it's a rough thing they're both like that um, I, uh, I watch his Instagram every night though. And literally every single night it starts with, it's a rough day. It's, ah! rough day. <laughs> what? it's been rough. I don't, I don't have him on Instagram. Uh, he but started now, doing a nightly like recap. Now I really um, want, but I don't want to, I don't want anyone to feel like I'm talking shit about me because I truly understand what he's going through. Like I remember whenever I was going through a divorce, a lot of, there's a lot of similarities in how he feels and stuff like that. And I, and I, I do understand and have empathy for him, but, uh, no, I get that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, just a, it's interesting I, I to me how people talking. handle things like, like that yeah. and handling yeah. it very publicly is the opposite of like me. Right. Yeah, um, in the same way. 
the same way. I don't I, want. Well, he posts on Instagram like, a lot. Yeah. Well, that, that he, he wasn't, but now he is. He's also got a new cat. Um, the so. puzzle of positivity. Yeah, his mom got him that. He's like, uh, this is this is what it's going to take to get through it, you know. Um, he was a. I didn't know people like vlogged on there. I think it's actually kind of smart if you're going through something like him because yeah, it's it goes not, away. Uh, it's not, yeah, exactly. Goes away. You can say what you want and then say what you want. And, and only the people that screen capped it are ever going to be able to throw it back in your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad for the dude for sure. I mean, that sucks. Well, so it does. It's, it's a rough time. Yeah. He'll get through it though. It just take hey, one of those. I think. I think the big breakups just take time. There's nothing. There's no quick fix. No, it of just course takes not. Some time. Yeah. Um. So he'll he'll get through it. Maybe we should send him a positivity puzzle. <laughs> a, the same one, just to send <laughs> it again. Exactly. Look, we got you <laughs> another one so that you can feel positive again. <laughs> Uh, I think the cat's a good step. I think getting a cat. That's what Justin did too. Justin was like, all right. Lost, something to love. Lost some pussy. Get a, a little tiny pussy. Just something to love, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Trading something one Something that up. will love you unconditionally, right? Like the cat's not going to leave. Well, you know? uh, okay. The whole, okay. Mm, I don't know if the love unconditionally thing is true for cats. Now, if you got a dog, sure. But come yeah. on. Okay. Well, There are days okay. where cats can tell you just to fuck right off. Right. <laughs> right. Holy a shit. Rabbit. There was like a big um there's like a vlogger who owns a cougar that I saw. Like an actual cougar. Just is, in their house. I'd be so afraid of something like that. Because with a cat, every cat I've ever had, some days they're just like, hey, I'm gonna fuck you up right now. And if it's a cougar, they will die. fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> You're just dead. <laughs> You're it. That's uh, wild. So I'd be terrified. The kind of like people that own like some of the bigger monkeys too. Sometimes those monkeys get emotional and they just kill you people. Um, Isn't that wild? Have you read just some of the stories chips. where like someone has a pet monkey and a friend comes over and the monkey gets jealous and just kills the friend? No. Yeah, this is a thing. Monkeys that's get fucking real jealous crazy. and they'll fucking kill your friends Holy basically. Shit. Maybe it's one of those kinds of monkeys that's on the shoulder that steals from people while you're being distracted. Yeah, the spider monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Those it's are like okay. Those aren't Vegas. gonna have. But they, they, what they do when they get jealous is they throw shit. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, they just they have because they always wear those diapers. They just got a fucking little pocket of shit. It's like pellets. What do you mean they wear diaper? They don't wear diapers. Yeah, they do. They, they do have fucking indoor diapers. indoor spider monkeys. You put diapers on them. No, they don't. They do. <laughs> yes, they I've never wait, seen a monkey with a diaper. Bullshit. Look up Bull- like fucking. Indoor but you don't have a, like a spider. Like you don't just have a. They surely you can potty train a monkey. I mean, I guess you can. But what most do they people, use? Most pets, monkeys that I've seen were wearing diapers. I don't know what they use though. I imagine they use the a toilet. toilet. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Get them like one of those little kid toilets, like the little oh, yeah. Elmo that fucking sings a song. What you go? Yeah. Have you ever used a squatty potty? Those are cool. Maybe we talked about no, that. No, do you have one of those? Hell yeah, they're awesome. Jess wants to get one of those. And I, I could justify it a little bit more. We got a new toilet because of the whole fucking flooding incident. Um, and the new one, nice? I, I looked for the, the tallest toilet possible and I got... I could not agree with you more. It's annoying how low toilets are. Yeah. It's so oh, yeah. annoying. I love the new toilet. Every time I sit down, though, I forget it's that tall. And I'm like, oh, oh pretty- hello. <laughs> you are very close. It's like those tubs. You get them mostly in like hotels where mm-hmm. like they're like literally a foot tall, if that. It's yeah. like, what the fuck is how? How are you? What's the point? <laughs> like, yeah. just make it yeah. a shower. It's not a tub anymore. Right? It's a shower, shower with a rim. <laughs> yeah. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Um, but yeah, I do like the taller toilet. I'm sold on that. Yeah, yeah, it was worth it. Um, I bought a new refrigerator this week. I've been shopping. You've been for appliance refrigerator. hunting. I've been shopping for refrigerators for a very long time, and each day it seems like the refrigerator gets worse. Ever since the whole Prosecco incident, where the fucking all the glass shattered, all the glass it's been, is gone. Cardboard, yeah. Up. So I've been what I've been doing is I've been shopping Craigslist because like so many, there's so many used but new. They're still new in the box, being sold for like half price. <laughs> 
And I've been looking at those and looking at those, and I keep I, – I just can never find – what I what I've really wanted, Samsung makes this one that's four doors, and it's got like this flex zone. Like the bottom right area can be either a freezer or a refrigerator. Oh, that's or cool. A soft, cool freezer. It's got like five settings on what temperature it's at. Um, and so I finally uh, – I finally just bit the bullet and paid full price for that one, and it's a lot, but – I'm I'm How gonna much? be happy with my refrigerator. Um, it was on sale and it was thirty one hundred dollars ah, for a fridge yeah. for something that keeps yeah. things cold. Yeah, damn, yeah, but dude, it's, it's the perfect refrigerator in terms of what I want. There's more, dude. You go to Best Buy. Is it and look side at by side? There's four doors. There's two at the top and two at the bottom. I see. The, the ones at the bottom are separated, so you can have two freezers or one freezer, one fridge, whatever. The top is just all the same. And what are you gonna up. do? Uh, the bottom right is I only the thing is we have we have freezers downstairs so like I don't that's why I really wanted this one I don't need a lot of freezer space upstairs mm, I like see what you ice mean. or whatever um, and I'm good so the bottom right I'm gonna keep it for like the veggie section and I can yeah. put like all the rabbit stuff in there basically I've been considering getting, you have a rabbit you. fridge I mean I've been considering getting like a dorm refrigerator just for the rabbit stuff honestly what because how the could they possibly of, have. They have so much stuff. They have like uh, lettuce. multiple heads of romaine. They go through one head of romaine lettuce every day um, between the two rabbits and the guinea pigs. So one head of romaine literally every day. If you go to Costco, they sell six packs of romaine, and that's yeah. like the thing. Um, that's what you buy. So a head of romaine. Um, they normally get uh, like two two small like baby carrots in their salad, a tomato or strawberry or raspberry, something like that, like one fruit basically, um, and then some like uh, parsley or cilantro. Uh, I've been putting lots of those like sweet snap peas in there too. Um, so there's a, a big variety. And the thing is I eat that stuff too. I make a salad. That's my normal lunch a lot of times. Um, so like that whole section is just going to be salad stuff basically for the rabbits and for me. So I feel like they I can share cool your it. salad space. Yeah. 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 And I'm, I'm hoping to now have enough space to do like my meal prep and actually have a shelf. That's just got my little lunches on it and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um where i'm not uh because right now I, for does sure, it have like good. uh is it a glass front where you can like knock on it no Hello? i don't like those i don't like those I'm not a fan it does have the double door thing but it doesn't have the glass thing but that's just got like a beverage center in it like a little spot for some cans ice. and it's got like the water and stuff Wait, the ice is actually down below so how do you uh, get like psh, you don't that's that's in the little door thing. You do have to open it to get to that. But you can. Um, but it's also, yeah, it does have that. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, which I don't have do, a hookup. Can you? Can you get ice in there too, or is it just water? No, no ice in there. Just water. It's just but there's the two types of ice. It makes the cube ice and the like crunchy like Ugh. chew on ice. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, I love that ice. It's my favorite ice. The little little bitches. Yeah, yeah, the little that melt little real cylinders. quick. Yeah, but you got. <laughs> All right, you chew your eyes. You're like our mind. dog. Every oh my gosh, if you go to the refrigerator, Chester is just there. You just look to the left, and he's down there sitting, staring at you, wanting a piece of ice. This really? fucking dog ice. is like obsessed with ice, just eating ice. Hmm. I'm like, I don't think that? we should give him that much. He's gonna chip a tooth. Why not? It's just water. He's gonna chip a tooth. He's not gonna chip a tooth on a piece of ice. Yeah, dude, that happens all the time. You're gonna chip a tooth. Oh. Not with the crunchy, chewy eyes. With the crunchy, it's, it's chewy. Aerated. You just said crunchy. No, no, no. It's 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 aerated. It's like it's perfect. I disagree. Well, you know. So what about the refrigerator up here? Where I'm at now? Yeah. Oh, well, she bought a new refrigerator a couple of years ago. It's fine. So soccer's yeah. gonna have a a nice fridge. Yeah, he's got a decent fridge. It's completely yeah. empty right now. It's got like it's got soccer's beer in it. He bought over New Year's, and then it's got waters, and then a jar of like jalapenos. Are you <laughs> nervous at all about that? About soccer? Yeah, it's getting close no. now. In nine days. Yeah. What's to worry about? I don't know. What if he just like demolishes your fucking? I mean, the thing is, you don't know like how he lives. Do you? No. I do know I'm going to get him to a doctor. Um, his feet situation, his feet look gross and they smell gross. And he needs to see somebody about that. Like, it ain't right. And there's <laughs> got to be a way to help him. Like, you take him to a doctor. Has he gone I'm to a doctor? To, 
he hasn't gone to a primary care doctor in forever, basically. So I'm going to set him up with a what primary care doctor and also a foot doctor. How does he not take care of him? himself? I don't know. That's why his heart rate's so fucking high. Because of his feet. Probably. He's fucking <laughs> supporting his, the fungus down there. He's got a whole colony living there. I need to charge um, him extra rent just for the people living on his feet. I will go over. I, I received my blood work. Did I okay. tell you about my blood work? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, you told me about doing the thing. I did the thing, but we'll talk. Yeah, about what'd you find we'll out? We'll talk about that in premium. Oh, oh teaser! Woo! Yeah. All right. Te- well, now I'm excited. Teaser. The T might be a hint. Oh. T. I don't know what that means. Yeah. This, um. Sick cell anemia. What? Sick cell anemia. <laughs> No, I don't have that. Yo, speaking um, of YouTube stuff, I uh, we talked about YouTube. Wait, we weren't talking about. We YouTube did. Stuff. We said that I told you something I saw on YouTube. The the Cougar oh. vlogs. Oh, okay. Um, right. I discovered literally today a new thing, um, in the world of us co- content creators. There are people that go to like airports, like near an airport, and then they put up a camera and stream plane spotting to the world for eight hours a day, every day for thousands We've of people. About this before. We this have never, I've podcast, never, but... I've never seen this. Watch them taking off, right? Live with yeah. commentary about yeah. delivery. We have never talked about this. I've never I seen it. I swear we have. I swear we have. This. I swear you and I had the conversation about people that just watch planes. Uh, th- there are those people, but and, I and, never. And I didn't know people did like, it live. Oh, this plane's coming into London right now. Did yeah, not they do, they it do it live. live. They do it live to an audience. I've never known yeah. this, or I've forgotten I, about it. I think you've forgotten. I, I might truly have. think you've forgotten. I just caught on to one today, and I'm like, is this real? This it, it's it's unbelievable to me. Maybe like we just watched it this morning. I was like, I cannot believe this is real. I think we've had this conversation. I think maybe you are a plane spotter. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe you've done too. this. They have like a journal and they keep track of like what planes they've seen, what planes they have. You were talking like about this somebody things. else. Well, not uh, me. Maybe. I thought um, it was you. I t- t- right now found out about the journal thing. That seems insane. I wonder if viewers are also keeping journal. No fucking yeah, way. Yeah, absolutely. They're loving it. It's like Pokemon. But like... The the part that triggered me the most, I guess, was when he said, it's going to be an exciting week. We'll see what happens tomorrow. It's like, I, I can tell you what's going to happen. Planes are going to come and go. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> the same I don't know, man. The weather, the weather's not great this week. We got a, we got a, we got an interesting weather week. That's, oh. that's going to be interesting oh, wow. in the live stream for the plane. Holy shit. The plane might not go. <laughs> right. It might not go. <laughs> like, right. Wow. You don't know. Right. We expected a plane to take off. We didn't Crazy. Get that. And someone in my yeah. fucking chat says, well, hey, I mean, watching planes versus watching stocks, it's the same thing. I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, you don't know the stock's going to take off. You think the plane, you, you think the plane, you gonna hope take off. the plane's going to take off. Yeah, you don't have a schedule for the stocks. I mean, maybe they're plane spotting for that one in a billion chance of being the guy that records the accident. Yeah. I mean, that would be a big day for a plane spotter, I bet. They'd it be, would. It'd be like that time. You remember that guy, Scott, that made such much, such a big drama about no one liking him in Mario Kart? You remember that? Remember back in the day? You yes. were playing Mario Kart with I do this, know. Okay. Well, he went to a, a NASA launch that exploded, and he made the whole thing about him. He, like, changed his Twitter profile. He kept doing these, like, AMAs on Reddit, like <laughs> – uh, AMA. He acted like he was like corresponding from the the shuttle explosion, um, and you that's, can make that's money what from that these train spot the train the plane spotters is yeah. uh, it a thing goes down and they think that they were like I'm the guy on. I know yeah. everything about this yeah yeah um, that's fun I will yeah. say impeccable camera work the dude is clearly far away from the airport but like uh-huh. tracks those bitches beaut like stunningly tracking them what. Got a it's good very lens. Nice. It's a good lens, you know. He's there. Did he gets permission. Like, where's he parking? Like, you know, he's got to have permission to be on this land and all this. And I so, don't know. It oh, looks like he's. This. You know, I mean, you've flown into LAX before, right? 
Like yeah. it's just kind of surrounded by sort of moderately tall buildings, business right. buildings. It seems like he's just in one or on mm. one or something. Let's see. Let's see. He's got um, this spot. Man rents like an office building in downtown LA just to go to plane spotting. Well, he's plane. making giga billions of dollars on it. Billions, maybe not. Really? But he's like of thousands of people are watching and subscribing and giving him money and shit. Well, damn. Maybe I'm in the wrong thing. It's all thing. Pain, Halo's not paying. No, so you need to drive down money. to Charlotte every day. Get well, out your fucking Raleigh, camera. Okay, well, you're probably not going to, like, his whole thing is like, I can't even keep track of so many fucking planes. Well, yeah, I mean, LA's got it going on, right? That's a lot of flights. Yeah. Maybe you should be down yeah. there at SeaTac. Just Ugh. watching planes. I'm there too much as it is. <laughs> uh, I didn't even get gold status last year. I'm just a silver boy. I'm a silver boy. <laughs> Yo, I will I was say like eight thousand miles away, but I didn't do it. Diamond's been good so far, so far yeah, so I good. You. I've you never start the year is silver, right? Like already, or is it gold? Where do they start you at? Nothing. No, you start at something as oh, really? diamond. You automatically oh, start the next year. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I never. I've never been diamond before. So yeah, I think you start at silver, but it might be gold. I'm pretty sure I don't. No, you do. It's part of the – unless they've changed the perks. They it might used to be one of the perks for Diamond is you would start the previous year. And I think you can gift silver even. You can gift – I think you can. I think you can gift silver as a Diamond man. 2022 status, Diamond medallion. Oh, I don't know because they don't start that until the end of January. So at the end of this month, then oh. they start telling you about next year's. But I already have – I have um, three years worth of qualifying miles saved up. So I know I have to fly again to get the status again <laughs> for three more. What do you years. mean? Like the top bar, I've yeah. done. I've got three of it banked because you there's roll. They roll those over each year. Oh, and so I've got three of them banked. It's just the bottom money bar that I have to spend. Wait, they roll over. So you're diamond for three years. Uh, the top part I qualify for, and I have to just spend money for three years. Can you see that right now, or do? Uh... No, I can see it right now because I have. 411,000 MQMs on that top bar there. Mine says zero to silver. Like it, So I guess I don't yeah. have silver, net, but I think that's all rectified in the end of January. Right, right. How many MQMs is it total to, to diamond? 125. No. I think. It's that's, be what I, that. that's what I assumed. Diamond is 100, 125,000. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So I'm well, good. It says on I have thirty six thousand two hundred fifty of twenty five thousand. So you're gonna be next year. You're gonna be silver again. That's good. Yeah. The annoying thing is like trying to like like in the past I've been like gold. I'm like oh shit. I want the maximum number of points to roll over so that the next year I could maybe get platinum. And then you're yeah. trying to get right up to fifty without going over fifty or yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. just yeah. or seventy five. I guess it is. Yeah. It's a whole. It's a whole game. It's pretty fun. You can gamify anything. You know, as soon as it's going to be NFT, Delta NFTs, and um, it's, it's, the, it's all uh, a The game. social um, feeling on NFTs is not good. No one likes NFTs. What do you mean? Everybody likes NFTs. No one likes NFTs. People you that have NFT NFTs. Twitter, everyone blocks you. People have NF, like NFTs who have NFTs. Um, but I think I it's, yeah, it's. I don't still, feel like the NFT thing is going to take off the way you think it is. It's really a. What do you mean? It's already taken yeah. off more than I thought it was going to take off. Really? Dude, these these fucking bored apes are going for millions of dollars now, and they <laughs> were originally three hundred dollars. That's insane. It's stupid. Um, no, I think here my take on the whole thing is when a new technology comes out like blockchain. There's a clean dartboard and a billion people are going to throw darts at that dartboard. But the only way that you're going to start hitting bullseyes is if you practice. And if there's a whole bunch of shit that fails beforehand. Um, and I think that's what NFTs are just the very beginning of w how we will end up using blockchain. Mm -hmm. It's just a good, okay. it's kind of like a good example. Think of it like a okay. sample, like when you're, Starting a new program language, you need the sample hello world script to just see how the fuck it, the syntax works. 
It's kind yeah. of what that's kind of what NFTs are, I think. I think okay. people that are constantly saying NFTs as they currently are, this is it, are dumb. <laughs> but <laughs> but art's always been that way, right? Like right now, you, there's art collectors in the art world and spending bajillions of dollars. But like the vast majority of people are like, well, that's fucking dumb. Like I'm not going to yeah, pay I mean, two like all million stuff to like dollars. Keep up with too, with like other art too. Like you have to like maintain it. You know, you can't just yeah. like it's not just a digital. You got to maintain a wallet. <laughs> I mean, they are doing some pretty cool stuff. So, like, the whole concept is cool, um, right? But like, like you know, oh, now with this with this NFT, you can get a bottle of poison or whatever and throw it at your own NFT, and it morphs into something else and all this shit. What yeah. I haven't seen this or like, and it, so like the whole multiverse concept, like everything obviously in the multiverse is NFT based, and um, you know, like like there's there's a company like a car company that your car, you can, the rims are an NFT and the body paint color is an NFT. Everything about it is an NFT and you can swap them out and trade them and go to a garage or whatever. And you know, all that kind of shit, limited supply. So supply and demand. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. It's, I, it's more for fun. Okay. It's a, it's for fun. <laughs> I I'm think when you, when you have the first kind of people that are actually like selling real world assets with NFTs, with tokens, then it starts yeah. to become a lot more real. But that's, I think, pretty far away. Right. Um, realistically. So there might be a couple examples of some like esoteric people that are just like, I think this is going to be the future, so I'm going to start. <laughs> but in the end... Um, I think things will run on blockchain, but nobody will even still. Still, most people won't give a shit. It's how things are run, but they don't care how things are run. Like, Fumita yeah. Chow is run on blockchain, but they've been run on blockchain for a long time, and no one cares. <laughs> right? right? They care about getting their meat in front of them. They don't care that Fogo de Chow has a verifiable system of knowing exactly what field their fucking meat came from. The end consumer doesn't care. They just want to make sure that it's delicious, which it's yeah. usually a little too salty for me. But really, some sometimes, of it is. yeah, I do feel the, like some of it is a little salty. The the main oh God, what's it called? The meat that's like folded, search of the sea. Yeah, the big the, the main meat. Yeah, that one I do find to be a little salty. That's the one I'm talking well, about. Yeah, yeah, no, that one is a little salty. I, they must I salt it and then roll it. Because the yeah. whole fucking thing is salty. Yeah. Not just the outside. Yeah. At least from what I can tell. Mm. Yeah. So started fun. physical therapy this week about my elbow. and uh, Your tennis elbow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's kind of gotten better on its own, honestly. I've been wearing the brace when I worked and stuff. And it's kind of gotten better on its own. And uh, I guess that's a good thing because um, my copay for my insurance – is fifty dollars? They want to see me twice a week. So that's a four hundred dollar a month expense. Yeah, I just can't afford. <laughs> I don't have the disposable income to just be like, yeah, four hundred dollars a month to fuck with my elbow. Um, yeah, and I don't, <laughs> I don't see the benefits of going there and doing anything because I go there and someone sits in the room while I do the exercises I can do at home. Correct. This that's the she trick did. to PT. That's the trick is that you What's go less trick? than you need. But you tell them straight up, I am I I do this every day at home, because the thing is, most PT is ba like my PT person just explained it to me. They're babysitters, right? Most people will not do their exercises at home. That's just how it is. And so if you mm. just tell them, I'm gonna do this at home. I will see you once a week or once every two weeks. Just tell me what to do. Right. Then that's that, and they're totally fine with that. It's just most yeah, of the time they're babysitting. Talk to her when I see her again, and she be like, "Listen, she did give me a massage on my elbow, and that was oh, yeah. not, But the thing is, I can get a full body massage for cheaper than fifty dollars. So. Sure. Did they use the electric machine on you? The zap you? No, the ATEM. Is that what it's called? No, that's not what it's called. Hold on. Nope, that's a different. I mean, it's like it's like a tens machine, but it's it not. is. It's it's like the bigger, cooler version of a tens machine. Yeah. Yeah, it she goes said deeper. she was worried about it because it. It works like from your, my shoulder all the way down, and um, 
massages release uh, the um, shit that causes gout. So like when I get a full, I stopped doing full body massages because uh, like uric acid will like store in your fucking muscles. And when you get a full body massage, it comes out, like releases them and then you get gout, Um, which is funny because uh, apparently regular massages will prevent that. So like one of the things people do for gout is get like a weekly or biweekly massage, but that's. Oh, it's just if it's stored up. Right, right. Right, So if you keep, keep them out without letting it get stored up, then it's not, not a problem. I'd like to get a regular massage, but you know, I'd like to do anything that, um, but COVID's fucking awful right now. Is it? Jesus Christ. It's the highest <laughs> million cases a day. What do you mean? It's but fucking like, insane. Here's, uh, is it? I mean, so I guess from everything I've seen, it doesn't like it's as deadly, but no. it sure is spreading at a fucking rapid but pace, like, right? At this point, if you're boosted, it's kind of uh, what? Wh- okay, here's here's my actual question: Why should I take more precautions now that I'm boosted? Why should I take more precautions against COVID than with the flu? Well, I mean, you don't want to get the flu either. No, that's what I'm saying. I take precautions with the flu. I wash my hands all the time. Blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff, right? Sure, I get the flu shot. Uh, but why is why should I treat this differently? Okay, I guess here's my answer to that. Uh, the flu season, you never see the United States have a million cases a day of flu transmission. Mm-hmm. That's why. If the, I think if the flu was being spread at the same rapid pace, you would take well, precautions. Everybody would be, be dead. Out. The flu is way worse, from my understanding, than Omicron. Oh, God. Where's your MAGA hat? <laughs> is it? Um, I'm pretty sure it is. Like, so, statistically, it is. Not than Delta. Delta will fuck you up. But like from what they can tell, I think right now with Omicron. Are you talking about the current variant? Not the current, COVID in general. Not COVID in general. I'm talking about Omicron specific, very specifically. Okay. Um, yeah, it seems like it's not as uh, – it does – see, I'm not a scientist. You know, I was talking about this on a stream a couple of weeks ago and people were like, you have a platform and it's on you to spread only correct information. And I was like – That's not true. Shocking news, everybody. If, if you came here thinking I was a doctor, I'm not. If you want medical advice, go to Facebook. If you think a doctor is uh, always going to be right, they're not. Like, that's yeah, insane. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think anyone that's uh, listening to this podcast and like, this is what I'm going to do to live my life. You should not do that. That makes you stupid. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know. Um, I think that the rate in which it's spreading right now, avoiding public places, if I can, is probably for the best. If you have, if you're wearing N95. Do you wear an N95 not? or do you wear the KN95? And a KN95. Where'd Verified you get it? though. What do you mean? I've had these like for, I, I think no, I bought no, 500. But, but where'd you buy them from? Because I've, I, I, I bought them from like five different sellers. And every Project, time I switch to a new seller, it comes out that they were fake. I bought Oh, these six are not. I've che- I have checked these. Okay. Um, it's, uh, there's also Project N95. Have you been there? Because that's the best place. Yeah, I was far. looking at that earlier today, actually. Yeah. I think um, they just made like big headlines recently. And so I think everything's running out. <laughs> but um, right. yeah, Project N95 is is good. And from my com- my understanding, the the best ones are the duck build ones, which I've never had a duck build one. I don't know if you have. But the duck build no. ones are the best as far as um, co- the, it's basically a combination of comfort and protection. Uh huh. Um, yeah, hmm. a doctor r- like ran a marathon in them or something to prove <laughs> that they were fine. I don't know. Um, huh. Yeah. So uh, if you're if you if you're protected like that and you're boosted, why not just live life? I don't know. I think that um, you've only got a certain number of years here. Yeah. We're blowing through them. You know, getting COVID could shorten that too. Right. It could, but like you're pretty well protected. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. I mean, I, I think that, but I think that mitigating your risks is not a bad idea either. Like not going certain places that I don't need to go. Um, well, you know, uh, I mean, I want to go to the gym, but I don't think that it's a great idea. 
um, currently. But here's a here's I a say working example. out with a mask. The gym, on. The gym is a, like a, a is like a it's a mixed bag, right? Like you you may lengthen your life by the exercise, but you also may shorten it by getting COVID. Um, mm-hmm. But here's a better example. Last night after I dropped my daughter off, right now my aunt's in rehab, okay. um, which they have like ten confirmed cases of COVID, 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 COVID at the place. Uh, so and I keep telling her, I'm like, I don't think I'm going to come and see you right now because there's COVID that we know about in your fucking building. Um, so it's like, I might just not come see you. Uh, but I drop my daughter off. We're coming back past the rehab at six 30 at night. And like on the nights when my daughter goes to her mother's, it's difficult to find time to make dinner. And since I've been diabetic and my eating has changed, like eating on time is important to me because for one thing I'm eating smaller portions, so I get fucking hungry. Um, so like six 30 is my normal dinner time. And so I'm like, I'm fucking hungry. I really can't eat anything from fast food because all this fast food stuff is just not good for a diabetic diet. But like the Mexican restaurant we passed by, I'm like, I could go there and I could eat something high in protein or whatever, low carbs, low sugars, that'd be fine. And I drive by and I look in and like every table's fucking packed. And so my thought is, I need to just tell her I can't come see her tonight and go home and cook because I don't think it's worth the risk Mm -hmm. to go in here and eat at this place. That's the example. Um, I guess I'd never eat out, so I never thought about eating out. I mean, if you're not eating out, then Um, you know. But that's the thing. We parked in front of the mess restaurant. I'm "I'm going to go look in, and like six different groups of people came out. Not a single one of them were wearing a mask, and so you know none of them. I mean, I know that once you go, it's kind of silly. You go in a restaurant, you take your mask off instantly as soon as you sit at the table and you're surrounded by people like, what was the point of ever wearing a mask in, in there in the first place? Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think just right now, like the rate in which people are catching it, I'm just being a little extra careful again. Would you fly like across the country right now? Only if I had to. I wouldn't do it for recreation. Really? Yeah. Damn. I'm flying in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah. You're going to Disney again, aren't you? Yeah. Which, I mean, yeah. that's probably going to be a cesspool of COVID. Yeah. I mean, but you know, they're talking about extra life United in April, but I think April will be back down on the lower end of the curve again. Um, Maybe, so. but I mean, it's pretty hard to believe that in a room of a few hundred people, there's not me COVID. That's pretty hard to believe. I mean, right now, one in every 20 people you see has COVID, right? Like that's what it, it's 5% of America has COVID right now. But like yeah. most of those, the vast majority of those people either a don't know they have COVID or right. B aren't showing they're, they're, they're like oh it's a mild cold um, yeah <clears throat> I mean I truly think that I'm going to catch it sometime this month um, my daughter's school is just people every day are getting like there's 10 teachers right now out of like 40 teachers that are out so that's like I 25% think of teachers are out I've gotten to the point where I feel like I fortified myself and self enough that I'm okay if it ends up that I get COVID. I'm not going to actively yeah. seek out someone to cough in my face, but right. you know, if it if it so happens, then it so happens. I'm still wearing my masks and all that shit. Um, yeah, I guess I worry a little but, more too because of my like health situation. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm overweight. I have high blood pressure. I have diabetes now. Like those are all things that aren't good either. Um, so you know, just trying to avoid it. Um, yeah. At this point, though, I feel it feels like how the fuck have I? I mean, how have both of us avoided it this long? It's. I think most people uh, are idiots. I guess. I mean, straight yeah. up, I think that's kind of <laughs> the case where, you know, somebody will just not have quarantined long enough after having been somewhere. Right. Like when we flew back um, from my parents house, um, I mean, we were we got upgraded to first and all that shit. So we weren't like around people, the lie down first, even better. We're just, there's just nobody near us. Uh, but yeah. even then when I came into the office, I came in the back door and wore a mask <laughs> and there's only yeah. one other person that works here right now because of COVID. So like, yeah. yeah. Uh, whereas the person, somebody else um, that was working here uh, got COVID just because they went to a restaurant, right? Like they went out and ate at a restaurant and the friends that joined them there had COVID and didn't know. Mm. Um, yeah. But A, I don't have friends and B, I'm not going out to eat. So, hey, problem solved. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. it's, it's, I think um, at this point also, like, we 
economically, we got to start getting back to like reality. Like the, the, the inflation is, numbers just came out. Doing that, this, and it the, just, it's wild. There's too much money. There's too much money right now. And it's fucking everything up. <laughs> there I mean, is. You aren't spending enough. Is that what you're saying? The inflation's out of control. Like yeah. uh, rent, uh, my rent, my rent went up 25%. Holy shit. Uh, like two weeks ago, I got the call. He's yeah. like, yeah, rent's going to go up 25%. And I'm like, first, my first reaction is, is that legal? <laughs> right. Yeah, well, we don't have like a big jump. We don't have rent control here. And so it's absolutely legal. Uh, places yeah. like Las Vegas went up 30% rent on average. That's an average. Is it's wow. it's wild. I mean, you don't pay rent, but like people that do, they're seeing that big time on you know inflation and whatnot. Uh, just prices for everything are going up. Not to mention here. Well, they're not going to go back down. It's not like certain, oh, of well, course we, not. Oh, we messed up. Uh, gonna, but we can stop the spread, so to speak, of inflation. The thing is, the federal government just pumped so much money into our economy during COVID that like. You can tell, right? The stock market went up like 30 or from its low went up like 45% or something ridiculous, right? Right. Um, just to keep the economy, I guess, going on. I don't know. Um, there are probably some poor decisions, but those are things that you couldn't have known at the time, right? Like it's just hindsight 2020 kind of thing. Do you think the stock market is going to correct for that soon? It is right now. It certainly is right now. Tech is taking hits and all that shit. Yeah. I know because I'm I've lost a thousand dollars today. On what? Mostly on the S and P five hundred. Anything? Do you? You fucking. I do. I hold. I hold S and P five hundred for about a year now. It's my thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've lost a lot of money on that. I you lost a thousand dollars in the S and P today. Jesus. Um, but I got two hundred twenty dollars today from Mattel. So Barbie up. I have Mattel. Really? Is it going up that much? Today's a great day for Mattel. Well, it's a good huh. day. Good That's day. Tell. Um, yeah, so I think inflation's crazy. We'll stop. We'll slow it a little bit through all these interest hikes and all that kind of stuff. Um, basically get people to spend their money again. <laughs> um, stop hoarding their fucking money. Um, and then, you know, I guess things Delta will. Delta went up today, too. Things will. You have Delta stock? Yeah. Wow. Big spender. <laughs> Big spender. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you That's know, Microsoft cool. has been going down for days and days. Mm -hmm. It's down $8 a day. Jesus. Damn. I mean, it's little also things that just annoy me are like schools that are still closing. Does that annoy you? Well, that's as, a parent, my as a school, parent, like, like are, are you at the point now where it's like, okay, she's either going to be stupid or, Okay, in your case, she's not because she has someone who's actually going to teach her. Let's talk about her classmates, right? With parents that don't necessarily care as much as you do. They're either going to be stupid and by not going to school or they might get COVID. Well, that's the thing. In her class, she's a class of 22. Um, the kid that's beside her went home yesterday with COVID. Um, mm -hmm. And that means that at this point, there's three kids in her class that haven't had COVID. Her and two others. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> she's also a wearing a mask, kids. though. Yes, she is. One of the few. Uh, yeah, she's one of four that wear masks out of 22. Um, but the kid that's beside her wears a mask, and he got it. Uh, so, um, And the kid that sits across from her on the bus has it. That's why I said this. I feel like by the end of this month, she's going to catch it, and she's going to bring they it They have home assigned seats on buses? Yeah. Yeah. Really? You know, they used to do that when I was a kid, and they kind of stopped, and they brought it back because of COVID, I guess, because they need to know if What's someone has it. They have like the a quarantine purpose zone. of this? Well, because like I said just now, if they if this kid gets COVID, anyone within six oh, feet of him has to get has to go as well. Um, so damn, that's why. That's but when nice. I was a kid, uh, the bus here, you had assigned seats, and you also were not allowed to speak on the bus. <laughs> you on the bus, and you were silent. If the you bus driver's an asshole, <laughs> or pass notes, you couldn't even pass notes. What? Um, yeah, it was it was a silent sit still. That's you were crazy. To read. Holy um, shit. That was literally all you're allowed to do on the bus is read. And if anyone was caught speaking, she turned the bus around and take it back to school and called the principal under the bus. Um, yeah, that woman was fucking awful. 
Damn. But, uh, that that wasn't my normal bus experience. Uh, hmm. So, All right. but well, uh, yeah, yeah. I do think that um, it's, so I mean, school my is still mask optional too. So I mean, I guess you already knew that since you said she, she yeah. was mask. But uh, yeah, I think it's just a matter of time before she catches it, even with the mask and everything. So as a parent, um, you don't want your school to close, right? No, I don't know what they're going to do right now. I honestly kind of wish they'd go remote for like a month again. Um, I don't know what they're going to do in terms of keeping them in school whenever they don't have teachers. Like the teachers and stuff are, are at home because they're all got COVID. Um, her dance studio had to close because all the teachers got COVID. Um, so I don't know what they're going to do because there's only so many substitutes. Uh, my county is not as bad as the adjacent county, the count, Wake County, where Raleigh and stuff's at. Um it's like insane the number and like no one wants to substitute um, and the amount they pay for substitutions ridiculous. It's a hundred dollars a day. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's just like, well, um, yeah, I mean yeah, like right now, know. what is it? It's something like 10 to 15% of the American workforce is calling in sick. Yeah. It's quite crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like how do you deal with that? Right. Oh, uh, you're going to have 15% less teachers today. <laughs> right. That's what? what I'm saying. How do they keep the schools open yeah. when this many people have COVID? I mean, they just combine classes, right? Well, that's what they did, but that increases the rate of possible transmission, right? Yeah. Um, that, they've done that. All the third grade classes are being taught in the gym right now because they only have one third grade teacher. Um, so. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I guess, is it better for them to be in school? I guess so. I mean, I, I, even with, I told you this before, even with all the help I gave her and stuff in math, um, the methods in which they teach it seems to resonate better with her than my way of trying to teach her. Um, and I don't know, you know, it kind of reminds me whenever I try to teach her how to swim, I spent so much time trying to teach her how to swim. And the moment she went to swim school, it was like, oh, I can swim now. Yeah. Um, and it's like, I don't know if it's the way I'm trying to teach her. If she doesn't like, she doesn't, I don't know. I don't know what, what, what it is about a parent trying to teach someone, but it I doesn't think always work. With the what kid. I found is a lot of times, like when I was teaching, I would explain things in like two or three different ways. And then that way people will latch on to one of those ways. Like one mm-hmm. of those ways is going to resonate with everybody in this room. And right. I think that's probably a very similar thing, right? Like, Swim the way I'm telling you to swim, fucker. <laughs> Versus like a, a swim coach who knows like three or four different ways of explaining the same thing. And it's just yeah. like going through the list of explaining it and figure out which one worked. Honestly, what I think with the swim thing was she didn't think I would let her die. Um, Cause like even like trying to teach her how to float or whatever, she would like, I don't, I don't think she'd put as much effort in because she knew I was always there to catch her. But I think with the coach, she was like, this person doesn't know me. He'll just let me die. <laughs> um, so I better fucking it's like a sneak or swim situation. Um, oh, that's funny. But that's hilarious. Know. And I hope that it's that's, not, I mean, obviously, not the same with math. You know, she's, she's not in a situation where she's going to die. That's um, but fear, I think it may, it fear based be swimming. Uh, like, I've always been accepting a failure, and maybe her teacher's not. Maybe that's the thing. Like, yeah. like when she does like these dancer styles and stuff, she's like, I'm not going to know. And I'm like, well, then don't know it. You know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, try your best. Have fun. <laughs> That's what I always tell with everything. So, but maybe I need to be more like these fucking pageant moms. You better build all the steps. I'll break your knees. Uh, so. I yeah. kind of, I mean, you're probably like that somehow, right? Not Add salt like- to the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've let her cook me some awful fucking food. <laughs> Um, did you tell her they yeah, were awful? I was like, this isn't great. She made something. God, what was it? It was, uh, is she was the kind of person thing, that's like, it was oh, basically an I'm going to put jelly beans on my steak. Uh, oh yeah. She does some, fu- she's giving me some fucked up food for real. <laughs> uh, like some fucking breakfast cereal that just had, I think it did have like jelly beans and shit like that. It's some gummy bears. Hell like, yes. like, this is awful. Um, I love that. But yeah, just let her play. It's funny at the start of COVID though. I was so fucking strict with that stuff. I was like, do not waste any food. We may never get food again. <laughs> That's true. I mean, well, we talked about the meat is happening this year. The, the whole fake meat yeah. thing. Uh, there's this, the, this thing just got sent to be called new limit. Okay. Company. Uh-huh. Um, 
extending human health span using epigenetic reprogramming therapies. Now, the coolest part about that is that epigenetic reprogramming is how I got, I got fucked up where I can't eat bread. So maybe yeah. they can undo that. Check this yeah. out. Our long-term ambition is to rejuvenate tissue through the whole body. Oh my gosh. Imagine just, you just become a new thing. Well, yeah, um, I also feel like it's a stepping stone to cancers though. What? I think it's the opposite, isn't it? I mean, maybe, I, I don't know. It could they go have a hundred and five million dollars for two years of operation. <laughs> yeah, these Not things, these uh, what? That's only one company. There's so many know. of I these. Like science, the science stuff is so expensive. Billions. There's so much yeah, money going into living million. forever. I think we might live forever, dude. That's what I'm trying to get We're at. Not. I'll be dead soon, Matt. <laughs> I think you're going to live forever. I think uh, you're going to correct this. So you have a mentality of like, especially when a doctor tells you something, that's it. You're going to do the fucking thing. And there's nothing that's going to stop you from doing that thing. So you're not going to have diabetes in like a year. And then by that time, who knows? You might just get a little syringe in the mail that you just stick into your leg. And suddenly you're like 20 years <laughs> younger. Uh, I mean, I hope you're right. That'd be nice. You know, would that be sick? Be nice. But I feel I feel like people have been saying this since like the 50s. Like you look back at the 50s, the flying cars, all those things. I feel like we've been expecting these sort of leaps in technology. But, yeah. you know, like you said, you know, the the COVID research and all that has jump started some of the stuff sure that has. we weren't we weren't moving towards before. So maybe you're right. Also, you know? I think that there's way more billionaires now and high millionaires now. Right. Like the 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 the, the distribution of wealth is is widening. Right. And the people way the fuck up here want to live forever. And they're yeah. spending a shitload of money that they're probably never going to get back, but they're spending a shitload of money making sure that they can try to live forever. <laughs> so once you have yeah, but people they, that are that they, rich. You know, if this technology's developed, they're not going to share it, right? Of course they are. What do you mean? They're going to make money off of it. Absolutely they will. Because the I reason guess. that they are got so rich right now is because of poor schmucks like us having to pay them for a thing, like a car or whatever. And they would love... For us to keep buying their stupid fucking car, you know, like, of course, yeah. we are the consumers that drive their profits. So absolutely, they want us to live forever. That sounds great. It's also like a great reason to want a multi-planetary species if you're Elon Musk. Of course you do, because if you control the entire chain of everything in it, you're a gajillionaire. Like, it's not even close. That's how you yeah, become so much money, though. Like where it doesn't matter. You know, it's a game. It's like all this viewer harvesting that's going on on Twitch, right? If you are at a level, if you're in the top 10 on Twitch, the reason that you watch Master Chef and do absolute dumbassery things like that, and you're probably going to go to jail at some point is for viewer farming. That's all. It's the game. The game isn't about money anymore. The game is about harvesting something else uh, for them. But for rich people, they don't have like that kind of a thing. And so the game is the wallet. They just look at their money every day and think, okay, I want it to be bigger. I want it to be bigger. I want it to be bigger. Yeah. And it's just the game of figuring out and make that number that really doesn't mean anything to them in the real sense. Like it doesn't affect their lives, right? That number doesn't affect anything because they could have half that number and it's the same life. They're living the same life. Um, yeah. It's just a game. And Seems I think like that'd be that, boring to me. Like once you have everything you need. Yeah, but most of these people are that they are like that is their one thing they only think about. Like they're obsessed. They're completely obsessed with it. And so yeah. you're not like obsessed about that. You might be obsessed about, oh, this caraway from this spice company is better than any other caraway I've ever had. <laughs> right? Yeah. Sure, you might be that. But like the people that completely obsess over their wealth and make it to that level, It's that's all their brain thinks about. And I so, guess. yeah. I mean, it makes sense it that they're like just going to keep going for life. it. I don't know, but I guess it is. I mean, they got it made, so I guess. Yeah, uh, I mean, they can they can jump on a boat and, you know, hire some, some chick with big titties or whatever, right? They can do that whenever they want to, and they do. And then they think about how they can make more money. <laughs> well, you know, while they're motorboating. Yeah. yeah. The living forever thing is interesting. I'll, I also took the inner age test that, right. that was That's part what of the blog. Right, you the premium. Yeah, I'll talk about that yeah. in the premium. It tells me my age internally in my body. In your eternal um, body. Mm. Yeah. I hope it's eternal. Maybe your body's going to live forever. Well, spoiler alert, it can go down. 
So now I have oh, the tools I need to make inside of me be is this less. This like a gimmick to you? Age. Do you think this is a? Do you feel uh, like you've been ripped off? <clears throat> I think the test results are real because it's real numbers. <laughs> um, <laughs> like obviously, yeah. um, and there's some good information in it for sure. Was it worth how much I paid for it? Probably not. But okay. I would not have known about a couple, <clears throat> one very specific deficiency that we'll talk about. Um, okay. That's actually I feel like, I've like so many blood tests. It, in lately. fact, it might, it might actually affect my lifespan in a very real way. Um, wow, look at this man. Like, and I didn't. This did is not, the I did most clickbait. This podcast. I did not know. I did not. Well, yeah. If they pay five bucks, they can listen to it. Is it five? It's five. Only, it's only five. Patreon.com slash Minecraft. $5 tier gets you the premium. $10 tier gets you sex with good. $25 tier gets you this live. You can yeah. watch this live. And you can join the Minecraft uh, server. And, too. Oh, yeah. Like, the big one, Minecraft. actually. The, the more important thing is that you can actually join the server. You know, your light behind you flickers quite frequently. You know, here's the situation, okay? Um, these fuckers below and above. Dude, I am literally getting Eiffel Towered in this office. Below, they're doing construction on a whole new fucking thing for some new fucking company, right? Uh -huh. And every day, I feel like I'm going to fall through the floor as they're banging on the rafter or whatever the fuck they're doing. <laughs> and above, a new roof is getting put on this building. So, like, every uh -huh. day, it's just blah, 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 blah. And there's an outlet back behind that fucking thing. And that yeah. outlet... Every time they bang on my floor, that outlet goes out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but that's that. But that outlet is so I have to go. I have to call the building because for some reason, this is the only office space in this entire building that doesn't have its own panel. So I have to call the guys. They have to go to the next door neighbor off on right there they have to flick the breaker both ways yeah i remember the whole panel situation when we were doing the fucking marathon there because we yeah. were terrified isn't that fucking annoying circuit. but it turns out stupid. turns out turns out listen keep this between us turns out we haven't been paying for electricity <laughs> oh <laughs> it's not our panel <laughs> anyway um th so hey I'll, I'll take a dead outlet uh so this yeah. whole circuit just doesn't exist and e I, like every day it happens i'm like Fuck it. And then like four or three, three or four days later, I'll be like, all right, I'll call them, I guess. You know, <laughs> and then we get to turn off. And then six hours later, it's back to fucked. So what I did was I took an extension cord from a different room, came in here. And now the computer, the cat, my casting PC with these two monitors, that light, all, all of it is on one circuit plus the refrigerator. And so when the refrigerator turns on, everything goes, Bleh! Cause it like surges. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that, oh. that is that. And the, the, the battery clicks on and off cause it has to provide yeah, instantaneous yeah. power and all that shit. Um, uh, terrible. Yeah. So that's why the, the lights flickering to keep it short, I guess that's, that's why that happened and is happening. I have so much to talk about still in premium. Good, because I, you know, I haven't had very many eventful days here the last our, couple of our days. Our living room is a factory. There's another teaser. We okay. have a factory living room. It's got to be for cookies. It's for cookie dough. Cook, right, right. Yeah. And, he's the and it's the just, day. it's just become an entire fucking thing. We have, we have, well, we actually bought a freezer like you have. Oh, that's it was, good. It was at good. Costco. Pretty cheap. I feel like it was cheap, but I don't know. Maybe it's not. Um, a seven cubic foot calls. freezer for two hundred buckaroos. Feels like it's fine. That's a, that sounds like a. Good it can product. hold that like a hundred, hundred and fifty servings. So okay. that seems like a pretty. Good, and is he selling this cookie dough yet? Is it time? It is not time because uh, we're traveling. <laughs> but oh, and, and right. for another reason. But um, yeah. No, we're gonna do like beta drops of it. What's that mean? A lot of people want this cookie dough. Uh, because it's gluten free and it's literally the best cookie I've ever had in my life. In fact, you know, it is edible cookie dough and it's kind of marketed as edible cookie dough, but oh, bitch, it's so it's good as a it, as fuck. The fuck? Fucking helicopters landed in my yard. Oh, hell yeah, that's awesome. What the fuck this is, is it? I don't see anything out there. 
That'd be sick. It's so loud. Can you hear it? I can. I can hear a helicopter. Very quietly, but I can oh, hear it's it. it's a big-ass tractor. Oh, I see. Oh, they're mowing the ditch. Mow okay. the ditch. Yeah. That's not a thing, that's not a thing you experience um, in Seattle. It's not a, it's not no, a regular we occurrence. We don't mow ditch ditches mowing. often. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, we're going to, there's a lot of people that want this shit. And to be completely honest, we just don't have the capacity right now to deal yeah. with it. Um, right. And so we're just going to do like weekly drops. So it'll be like every Monday or Tuesday or whatever. We'll just have orders. We'll do it live just so people can see their order getting filled or whatever. But we there's yeah. only limited capacity um, right. until, you know, the I mean, that's a good thing. You'd rather out. have uh, more demand than you can supply than not. Yeah, than I think so. I mean, it is the best. You know what's actually really good? Oh, my God, dude. You take some of the cookie dough and you put it on a plate and you microwave it for 15, 20 seconds. <gasps> it gets like a skin on it, but the inside is like molten and you eat that shit with a fork and I about die. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so fucking good. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, this is definitely something I cannot eat. There's no Unbelievably shot. Unbelievably good. Yeah, you, <laughs> You're going to be would, diabetic too. You keep you eating would, this cookie dough. You would okay. die. Um, <laughs> you know what? I do not like cookies and cream. Um, I don't like Oreos. Is it weird? Really? I, whenever I've bought Oreos in the past, I've thought, wow, I really want Oreo cream. And I will literally just eat the, I take a knife, I scrape off the cream, I put it all into a <laughs> jar, and I just eat it. <laughs> like I, would, I literally eat it with a spoon. Um, oh, God. But I don't know what the fuck it is that he does to this cookies and cream shit. It's my favorite. Yeah. It's huh. so good. I th you know what it's got? It's got to be the white chocolate chips. Like, it's got to be. It's so uh, fucking good. I don't like white chocolate at all. That's oh, really? Thing I like. Dude, yeah. it turns into like this creamy, ooey gooey deliciousness. Fuck me up. <laughs> I got to stop. I'm getting hungry and I'm on fasting right now. So I can't. Is eat. he still putting uh, soy in it? No, nope, none of the weird shit anymore. Okay. <laughs> it's all <laughs> back to normal. Uh, uh -huh. Normal, just high, very high quality ingredients. Like the, the chocolates, like, like. Top tier chocolate. It's kind of crazy. Where's he getting it from? So uh, there is a distributor here called U.S. Foods that I did not know this. They have stores. Yeah, I've heard now. of U.S. Foods. Uh, like I've always seen them on trucks. Like they deliver to yeah. restaurants and shit, but they have stores. Right. And there's a store of just bulk shit. And okay. you can just buy a lot of it. Now you can't buy like... The gluten-free flour blend is very specific so that it's not grainy. All Almost all gluten-free flour blends are very grainy mm -hmm. um, just because they use a lot of cheaper kinds of materials. Um, but yeah. his is ve it's very smooth, and you can't buy that there. So, like, that's oh, expensive. Um, but, yeah, things like chocolate chips and whatnot, high-quality chocolate chips. None of this Nestle okay. Hershey shit. Um <laughs> You know, uh, are all there? Even though, honestly, mo I've 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 realized, I think people like the cheap stuff because it's what they're used to. Like a lot of people yeah, are just yeah. like, "Give me that fucking Hershey's." You right. Know, you fuck the stuff. expensive this stuff. This doesn't taste right. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. You don't. Yeah. Um. Okay, we're gonna go premium now. Sounds good. And, right, we'll see you guys there. Um, Patreon.com/slash Minecraft. We'll talk. You more can find out it. Matt's internal age and what he was. My missing. internal age. Oh yeah, I probably should figure out where that is uh, <laughs> be prepared to share your information yeah. i will share all Walk of my personal inside. details on the all on right. the flip Matt, side social security in the Patreon. social security number coming up six nine six nine six nine bye shit that's mine too <laughs>